Oh gosh, I do love my lovely cereal. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> oh! got quite a lot to do this week. I've got a blog post to write and I am going to meet my friend Lucy and stay at her house um, with Gracie and she's got her little baby too and they're the same age although her baby is like crawling around all over the place so ah. Uh. The makeup bags, got to get the website ready for that to write all the copy and everything. Still got two bags that I need to name but right now I've got a grumpy baby. Are you sad because your auntie Katie's gone home? Yeah? Do you want some more milky? Little one, you're so cute. you got a new best mate as well, look. Guarding you. Hi, Wedge. <laughs> TMI for YouTube but I really need to sort out my contraception because I am not ready for another little Gracie running around yet. Quite like a bit of a two or three year age gap. You look so cute, don't you? You look really cute. Close to the morning light. Tummy time. Come and get the cucumber. Come and get the cucumber. <laughs> Come on, you want to. show you guys the kind of stuff that I just do day to day when we're not going anywhere and kind of a bit more like the real mummy life sort of thing. I know I'm in the park again and I feel like I have used every possible scrap of footage from this park that I possibly could but this is what I do if Steph's working then we always come for a little walk around the park and I've got my little iced coffee and my sushi and I'm really boring and I always have the same thing. So mostly my day pretty much starts off with giving Jeffy his bottle, unloading the dishwasher, getting a load of washing out the way, 
um, making all Jeffy's like meals for the day because I make them all fresh for him. I like peel and chop all his fruit and veg and puree all that for him. And then after he's had his morning nap, we take off to the park together. I think it's because I'm filming and this is so difficult, but there's a random like tractor in the park in the middle of London. Look. Now I feel dumb because it's actually cutting the grass, but it was very loud and it's so typical that happens. So I was thinking anyway, bringing it back to basics this week. And also next week when we do have the break from vlogging, I am gonna put up another video, maybe like a cooking or a makeup one or something. Just something a bit more simple. It's windy. Because obviously we don't want to leave you guys in the lurch. Yeah, a bit more basic for the next couple of weeks, but I hope you don't mind. We're still gonna be here, but just stripping it down a bit. Made Jeffy sweet potato and red pepper blended together. And he's doing that thing again where he just looks like he's really not enjoying my cooking. You want to in it? <laughs> and I also braved the baby part of the park. I always get really scared to come in here because I feel like everyone's like looking at me because I'm on my own and I don't have any like mummy friends. I'm like mummy loner. <laughs> it's really sad. Um, but there's quite a few people here on their own with their babies today. Maybe I'll make a friend. We'll see. You enjoying that now? You want it? Just eat my cucumber. Just eat up a cucumber! You did a big poo for me! You did, didn't you? Poo face! Oh, poo face! <laughs> it's just so glamorous being a mother. You're pooing in the park! Oh! I've had no sleep! I'm trying to wean him off his night feed and it's so hard because he just wakes up wanting to cuddle or like wanting his nappy change but he's waking up more now so it's kind of like having a newborn again and I'm kind of really really exhausted today. We've got our friends coming around now as well so I'm like oh god I'm not going to be able to talk because I'm so tired. But we got to give you your lunch. Got to give you your lunch. I'm <laughs> going to eat it all. I'm not gonna lie, I think today was probably one of the hardest mum days yet. For the last, I think it's like five or six days, obviously I've been trying to cut out Grayson's night feed and I've been cutting it down ounce by ounce and then he got to zero ounces and he was great before that and now he's freaking out and now he's waking up quite a lot at night time so I feel kind of like I've got a newborn again. I am just not good with no sleep. I turn into a mental, crazy, horrible, argumentative woman. And I also get really upset really easily because I'm tired and everything makes me oversensitive. I'm sorry, I know you can probably hear my washing machine going. Without sleep, I'm just useless and I feel like I'm a bad mum and then I feel guilty for not playing with him as much as I could because I'm so tired. Getting annoyed like for silly things like if he's like wriggling when I'm changing his nappy or something but it's just sometimes being a mum is really 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 hard. I think a lot of people are scared to admit how hard it is and seem like they're not coping and sometimes the housework gets on top of you or you argue with your partner and I know that I'm definitely more argumentative when I'm tired or if I'm doing a lot of housework and I feel like Steph isn't doing it or whatever and sometimes I get frustrated with myself as well because I feel like I'm projecting this like ideal relationship to everyone on my YouTube channel but if Steph and I were having an argument and things weren't really going well between us that day, the last thing I would do would be whip out my camera and be like, hang on, we're best friends but we spend so much time together that it's only normal that we argue and especially when I am being a sleep deprived neurotic bitch, then that doesn't really help things. I just feel like I'm at that point where I need someone to come and help me and I so wish that my mum was around because I would be calling her and being like, get your bum over here, you're helping me and I am going to sleep. And I would do that with Steph's mum because I completely adore Steph's mum, but she is in a different country so it's quite hard. Sometimes it needs to be said that this is the hardest job in the world. Every single day it tests me and puts me to my limits and tests my patience. Since I had Grayson, I just, 
I feel like every month, that time of the month, my world is crashing down. Everything bad is happening to me. I just feel really, really sad and depressed and horrible and like I'm a bad mum, I'm a bad friend, and I'm a bad wife. I should be doing this or I should be doing this or this isn't good enough and this isn't good enough. And it just all kind of like boils and simmers up to the top. I've always been quite bad at um, confrontation so I will never really talk about any of it and then it all kind of simmers up to the boiling point until I explode and then I'll just have a mental breakdown and I just feel like the last few days that is what has been going on. I am very 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 lucky that I have a husband as amazing as Steph who knows how to go about me when I'm feeling like this but with that lovely positive note Pardon me, I am going to go and finish my dinner. Oh, mummy life. <laughs> hey. We're going to let those boys in. They're going to be surprised to see you there with your candle lit dinner for one. <laughs> yes, I am sad and I lit a candle for my own dinner by myself. <laughs> We're just about to nip out to the park now to take some pictures for my blog and some pictures. Oop! <laughs> that just happened. <laughs> so, we're just about to take some pictures for my blog and some pictures for the makeup bag website. We really think it's going to be ready by this weekend, so, fingers crossed by the time you all get to see this, it's live and we can show you the website and the finished products. Just doing some product photography now. Got it all set. Over here, little Grace is over here eating the grass. I told him not to eat the grass, but he won't listen to me. You just want to eat grass, don't you? I'm getting ready to go to my friend Lucy's house for the weekend with Mr. Gigi. Just packing. It's quite a lot of stuff, even though I tried to pack light because we're only staying for two nights. But um, yeah, obviously, babies don't travel light. The boys are just uh, playing some computer games together now. You have fun with that? Dad, how's the game? Too engrossed in the game, huh? The other camera finally got fixed. So I don't have to film on this crappy one anymore. Well, Are you excited? Yeah. Can I just say, two hundred pounds in Canon repairs I've had to pay this month. I know. That one cost fifty pounds to repair. My big ones just cost one hundred and fifty pounds to repair. I know. It's ridiculous. This is like, not only is it the third camera, but we have to have it fixed as well. So it's a bit ridiculous, but it's bad. So Gigi's having avocado for his dinner and has it all down him. Oh, they're, they're, they're filming us. <sighs> Have you got a message for YouTube, Lottie? You got a message? What are you going to say? Say something to YouTube. Mm, I put my book seven. She pooed her about seven. She pooed at seven. Nothing gets you won't listen to me! <laughs> <laughs> Just starting our journey to Lucy's house. We're getting the train. I kind of always get nervous about getting the train with G. Not because of his behaviour, but because I hate struggling to get on and off the train with a gigantic chair and loads of bags and stuff. I find it really stressful. Are you excited about seeing Harry? Door you look very it's unexcited right now. We did it! We made it! I'm with open. Lucy! Oh, we're pulling over because something's open! open. I'm scary. I've got a feeling it's your boot because yeah, I have like rammed my stuff in your boot. Anyway, say hi! Hi! hi. We're at oh, Lucy's oh, sister's house. Oh, no. Say hi, ladies! Hi! Hello! Oh, Gracie! Oh! We've just come for high tea! This place is so cute. It's like a little old lady's front room or something. There's like cabinets everywhere full of goodies and cakes. I'm 
my two little old men. <laughs> over that donut voice. Oh. Lucy just found a really, really sexy outfit in a H&M kids section. <laughs> Chile? A cat cup of Chile. Chile. <laughs> and with a little cat suitcase. <laughs> sexy. <laughs> about to put the boys outside in the garden in a paddling pool. You've never been in a paddling pool before. I'm so excited about this. It looks so cute. Are you excited about the paddling pool? Mm. Oh yes. <laughs> Clearly very excited about the paddling pool. Let me show you. <laughs> Mummy's got a new baby. 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 And he's skinny as a new. nice weekend, mummy and baby weekend and I'm kind of tired now so I think Grace is just going to have a bath and see his daddy and I think we'll probably all head back to bed. Yeah, see daddy. Are you happy to see daddy? <gasps> yes. He slept through for the past three nights so I am feeling a little bit like a new woman. Woo Pray for me that it carries on. Pray for me it carries on. Thank you so, 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 so much to all of you have, who have ordered makeup bags from my new makeup bag website. I just feel so overwhelmed and touched how supportive everyone's been and how many nice things you've said about it and it's just like incredible. I wasn't expecting this at all. I just wanted to let anyone who has ordered one know that um, obviously they are handmade to order and we only have one seamstress and she's, pardon you, she's kind of been inundated with orders so it's going to be 10 working days for her to make the bags and then obviously I'm going to post them out as quickly as I can so we'll keep you updated via email. I'll pop a link to the website below if you haven't seen it already. Um, is that funny? <laughs> did you hear that little laugh you just did? It's the evil bedtime laugh. Yeah. Oh. I'm just gonna wait for you to finish that orange because you're like. Yeah, they're a little bit more expensive than I wanted to charge because obviously everything adds up before you know it. You're you've paid quite a lot to make the bag in the first place. So like the fabric, the zips, the lining, the wadding, the posting, like everything, all these little things add up and obviously paying for someone to make them in the first place. So that's the reason why they are as expensive as they are. If any of you who might not be able to afford them, I am going to be running giveaways um, and competitions and things to win them because I want you to be able to have them if you want them. So just keep an eye out for those. And what else? I am going to have a break from vlogging next week. So there's not going to be a vlog next Sunday, but I am going to make a video for you, but it's just not going to be a vlog. So you'll still see us. Let me know if you liked the, the makeup bag website and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye. Bye everyone. Say bye. bye. You're going to get harassed by me tonight because I haven't seen you for three days. Bye. Bye guys. I'll see you later.